Here we are, we're at Butts Quarry for the Edge Off Road Enduro. This is a two hour long race. Looks like it's going to be a tough one. There's been plenty of rain put down. Looks really slippy and wet out there, but yeah, let's see what we can do. We're on the front row with the Premier Class, so as soon as this green flag gets on the way, we can start our bikes and get going. Here we go! Whoa, man down there on the inside. We're getting absolutely roosted to death here. So we're going to skip ahead about half, half a lap into this race. And we drop down to the first sort of hard section here. Steep little climb. I think we're currently in about fourth, but oh, one's got stuck there. Managed to just paddle our way past. Puts us into third, I think, off the off the start there. So we're third on this first lap. But you can see it's just like it's like an ice skating ring out here. It's just wet, slippy clay. Really hard to get traction. This little tricky small hill here, and then now just just watch my front end down this part here. Way down we go. A couple of lads get past me there, three or four lads. I think that drops us back down to about sixth or seventh position there. Not ideal on the first lap. Bit of mud on the gloves and things, but keep moving. Come out of the woods onto the motocross track, and yeah, this is where I'm starting to learn that throttle works both ways. You know, you can't just go flat out with that throttle. You've got to be, you've got to feather it on, you know, and find that grip. Riding third and fourth gear, and really not be too aggressive. You know, patience is is the best option in this stuff. get round to the back of the start here and whoa it's like a lake a little bit wet around that section not great on the goggles We get through this little wooded section here and uh, I've walked the track so I know that there's a big hill coming up right here. It turns right and goes up a big hill. So just preparing myself for this. We don't want to get stuck on the first lap here. Everyone's watching. Easy. Get in there. Whoa. Steady down this hill. This is a slippy one. Do not want to go off them edges. So we're coming towards the end of the lap now once we've got up this gully. Uh, there's just one more tricky hill to finish off this lap, which is coming up right about now. Now the morning race also had to do this. Which is very cut out now, you can see. Uh oh. Had to give it some beans to get over that. Used a little bit of energy there, but we're still on two wheels. So we're coming through lap scoring now for the first time. Got to wipe the number board because it is a little bit wet. Just trying to get used to this slippy clay to be honest with you. I know my first enduro with edge that I did was a stubble field one. It was really dusty, like complete opposite of this sort of going. 
So I mean you can go and check that out if you want there. But this is more what I need to practice. This is what I'm not too great at. Throttle control and, and balancing these slippy ruts. I mean this section here where you drop down, we, we rode the track yesterday on a play day and you could just jump down this hill here but today it's like it's like walking pace, real technical. And then you get onto the motocross track and there's these deep ruts and then you're onto these slippy ice skating ground, you know, it's like really claggy clay so the bike's heavy but then under the tyre it just doesn't want to grip, it just wants to spin everywhere. But then we drop down this hard section here and you can see I go to the right. Oh, looks like someone's been through the tape there so that sort of easy route op opened up probably two laps into the race but unfortunately I kept doing this route I didn't didn't know about that until about an hour in when I sort of followed someone down it so probably lost a couple of seconds there but no biggie drop down through these woods back along the bottom of the dream towards the motocross track see even the motocross track it's pretty single file one sort of slippy clear line just try and keep the uh, power of the bike in that sweet spot don't let it spin up too much oh, 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 oh. proper enduro mode we're feeling it now so we start to catch a couple of lads up here and there's a four stroke in front oh yeah, it give it some revs there and he's stuck in the mud, look he's sliding all over. Just about manages to stay in front of me so we'll see what we can do on these next few turns. Drop down through these trees and then it opens up again onto the motocross tracks. Here we go, we spot a moment. Round the outside! Yeah, baby! That's the one. Whoa, two for one. Another rider down there, so that puts us in fourth, I think. But then we get to this nasty little hill again, and... Yeah. I'll make a mess of it. Oh. Get them legs out, son. Good job he had some long legs there, I'd have been down. But you can see the more you rev it, the worse it goes, the more your wheel just wants to spin all over the floor. If you've watched the race from Liedel that I did a couple of weeks ago, that was similar sort of going, really slippy and hard work. Didn't have as much extreme elements to it, but it was slippy. So I feel I am I am actually getting a lot better on it compared to that race. I feel like I'm coming to grips with it, but still, there's a lot of learning to do. So we drop down a slippy hill here off Camberdale. And oh, notice a little cheeky line there to the right, what drops down. So that'll definitely cut a few seconds off the lap time if I can get onto that. But again, it's these little things with Enduros that I'm just starting to pick up a little bit earlier than I did when I first started. These little hot lines that you can get on what just save not just time, but sometimes energy. So we're dropping down the gully now again to this last hill climb of the lap. I think we're on the third or fourth lap now. Managed to get up this without any troubles checking there's no one stuck there try to go to the left oh not the one a couple of lads get past me there go on, go 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 but we're out we're out Use a little bit of energy there, but we'll just have to get our breath back now for the next couple of minutes. Hopefully keep it on two wheels for a couple of laps. Hey, 
Whee, bit of a jump past the pits there. And then again we drop down this section. Like I say, we were jumping down this yesterday. Onto this motocross track up here. Now even where they got sort of ruts in the ground, it was a rut, but then at the bottom of the rut it was again slippy clay, so really hard to say stood up and controlled, it was like forcing you off balance everywhere. But everybody told me Butts Quarry, you know, it's a motocross place, it's going to be pretty easy and um, not too much extremeness to it. Well, there was wrong, this was like an extreme race, I mean, with the rain we've had, these hills were, there were people crashing all over, you know, waiting at the bottom, spinning round, upside down. You can see a couple of lads stuck there. But as the race went on it just rutted out even more and the track just got really technical and hard work. Especially for me, you know, I've, not, I've come from motocross so I'm used to freshly graded tracks. To me this is, this is pretty much getting to me. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad but it, it was very, very hard. I know a couple of lads that are used to doing um, enduros with edge off-road. They said this is sort of as, as hard as it gets, you know, the Air and Hounds ones. The next level's the extreme, so. Getting a bit of speed up on this motocross section. Wah! Reel a few of them berms. <laughs> I think that was my favourite bit. So we're on the motocross now, you don't really use the motocross track, it kind of goes on and off it in places and across tabletops in the opposite direction of things but that's just the way Enduro do it, you know, it's part of it. I won't mind sending a few big jumps but <laughs> they try and keep you off them to avoid accidents and things, slow it down a little bit. This section here was really, really tricky as the race got on. Big deep rut up the middle there, you can see. Just trying to stay out of that as best I can. Now this part here, this, this was just a GoPro killer. I mean, if it weren't for these big puddles here splashing the camera, we would have had some real crashes on footage. But unfortunately, made the camera really hard to see and blurry, so... Sorry about that one, you missed a good few crashes there. <laughs> oh, someone's stuck on this hard route here, just going to have to wait till they get going because it is single file at the top of there. Come on! Should have took this time to wipe the GoPro for you, but wasn't thinking. Again, the tree roots are starting to come out now. The track's getting real slippy underneath. And then I find this sneaky line here on the last hill. Sort of square it up and go up the middle. You can see there's a lot of lads stuck there, so... Definitely paid off finding that line later on in the race. Avoiding that nasty hole in the middle. And then again, this is that slippy downhill that I showed you earlier. And way, we're learning, look, we're learning. Found the little cut through there, so that saved us a good few seconds. Hey. Feeling the groove. About halfway into this race now, so we're gonna do a pit stop, get some goggles, quick refuel, and off we go. On. Is that line better right? Yeah, but that hill's the worst over there. You've got to go over there? Yeah, it's got proper nasty. Where is it? They're all Which just one? That hard route, you know that hard route? Right. 
See if there's a better line for us. Mate, the one that I added yesterday. Yeah. Mate, see over there. Go on. Go on. In a bit. So we're off. Back out of the pits. And yeah, I told my dad to go and wait for me on this hill, what's coming up now, so we'll see how it goes. It's getting really nasty, some big ruts digging out now. Let's give it plenty. And we're up. Whoa, we're in the trees. You can see there's someone there having a right nightmare to the right. Managed to uh, bash our way out of there. We'll try and hit that a little bit better next time. Again, these downhills, they, they just don't do not do justice on the GoPro. They were really, really technical and steep. I'm trying to get in a flow in this second half of the race. Seeing if I can uh, catch a couple of lads back up. I think we're currently in fourth, I think can catch uh, the top three that'd be great just get behind a back marker here and just shout at him to tell him to watch out so we don't collide watch out whoa oh get a little nudge there as he crashes and kills all our momentum but we're still up we're still upright we're still upright as of this point the camera really does get filled in so I'm sorry about that the last sort of 30 minutes of the race I really did have a nightmare so it's a shame you couldn't see that I got stuck about three times on some of them hard sections and lost about 10 minutes so ended up dropping down to fifth overall in the premier class and seventh overall out of everyone on the day I am pleased with that you know I'm getting better as as I'm riding more of this slippy stuff and Starting to get to grips with this enduro, so we'll see how we can get going in the next few weeks. We're off to Skegnets next weekend in the sand, that's going to be a little bit different, but yeah, hopefully, we can uh, kick some ass. But no, thanks for watching. If you've liked the video, just give us a like and subscribe, throw us a comment. If you have any questions, feel free. See you soon.